<sighs> well, I don't even know how I'm going to start this video because it's probably going to be the one of the hardest things I've ever had to discuss on this channel. But about a couple of weeks ago, I made a post that I was going to be start doing different types of videos and stuff like that. So, here we are. Thought I would be doing, like, true crime stories, what biographies, stuff like that. And today, we are going to be looking at kind of a true crime story slash biography. Because in this case, the two kind of intertwine, if you know what I mean. And... <clears throat> And I am going to warn you now, trigger warning, this topic discusses child abuse and spousal abuse, domestic abuse, and also murder. Today, we are going to be talking about Judith Barzi. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're, you're like, uh. That was. And, and I know most of you are thinking, well, Caleb, that was so yesterday. But I'm like. I feel like it's something that I have to talk about. Just to, like, get it off of me. So. So that's what pretty much happening okay so so judith barzi so judith was born on june 6 1978 to to joseph and maria barzi okay now joseph and maria were both hungarian immigrants who came to the United States to escape the Soviet occupation of Hungary. Which I'm like, okay. And, you know, they actually did immigrate separately. Like, Joseph didn't even meet Maria until... much later, like, much later. So, so, let's talk a little bit about Joseph. Now, Joseph, before he met Maria, had this, had a, another wife, his first wife, I think her name is Clara, but I'm not sure. Well, well, with Clara, I think, like I said, I think that's what her name was, had two kids, Barna and Aggie. I think that's how you pronounce their names. I know it's their names, but I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyways, so... So Clara and Joseph were married, but Joseph started to get really, like, abusive towards Clara. And... And, like, Clara ended... So basically, 
there was just another woman before Maria. And Clara actually ended up filing for a divorce because Joseph, out of a fit of rage, ended up throwing, I think, a cast iron skillet at her. Which, by the way, is not something you should do. But he did it. So they divorced. And Joseph ended up moving to California shortly after the divorce, where he met Maria, who was working as a waitress in a restaurant that was actually a popular spot for Hungarian immigrants to go to. So... Joseph would come in and he would always pay for his food with hundred dollar bills. So, and he was supposedly very charming. So, the story goes, Joseph and Maria got, ended up getting married and and Judas and Judith's birth um, quickly followed. She was born, like I said, in 1978. And Maria had always dreamed of becoming an actress, but she felt that she couldn't because she had... A, for certain reasons, so she decided to start training Judith for her to be an actor, and and her family members are like, you know, it's not gonna happen. Not Joseph, but her other family members is like, it's not gonna happen. You know how hard it is. But Maria just kept trying. Like, she was desperate. Well, not really desperate, but you know what I mean. But finally, through no, for some random day at the like the ice skate, like the skating rink, there happened to be a camera crew at the same skating rink that Judith and Maria went to, and they and the casting crew saw Judith, and they're like, "I think you would be good for one of our commercials." So she ended up getting cast in the Donald Duck orange juice commercial. And I cite, and I have actually seen that commercial. And she did a really good job in that commercial. And she was only like, I think, five at the time. So good job for her. But. And she quickly started getting roles in commercials, and she fine. And she actually landed a role on the TV miniseries *Fatal Vision*, which is based off a true crime story about a father who murders his family. Uh, something that ties into this story but we'll get to that in a later part of the video so anyways so she's getting all these roles and stuff and after a little bit they her in now she's not like a huge star or anything by this point but she now has enough money to move from from into a better place. Now, 
this whole time, Joseph w- was still working, even though that even though Judith was making enough money to support everyone, he's like, "I'm gonna work anyway." So that means while he was at work, Judith and Maria would spend a lot of time together. Maria actually taught Judith Hungarian so that when they were in public, they could talk, they could talk to each other without people catching on to what they were saying, except for maybe those one or two random people that somehow know Hungarian, like, but anyways, now when, with Judith being so successful, she was a happy-go-lucky girl, everything was okay, or was it? You see, at home, Judith was hiding a terrible, terrible secret. You see, even though Joseph seemed like a charming man on the inside, like on the outside, at home, he was a destructive, abusive alcoholic who would constantly threaten to to kill Judith and Maria, or he said he would kill himself, <clears throat> he would kill Judith and himself and leave Maria to suffer. He would say all sorts of things. And one time, Joseph was at like a bar or something, and he was with his friend, and he was talking about killing Maria. And his friend's like, well, if you kill Maria, what's going to happen to your little one? Joseph's nickname for little Judith. So, I hope she does not come out here. So, Joseph, to which Joseph replies, Well, I gotta kill her too. So, at this point, things were getting really, really bad. Joseph would get into these horrible rages. And there was this... One time where Joseph... Joseph would get mad and then later try to apologize for his actions. One such reason... One such occurrence was when... I think Joseph was throwing like pots and pans at Judith to and he made her bleed and to make up for it he bought a pink TV for her bedroom. But and there was this other incident with a kite. Judith Judith had gotten a new kite. Joseph was there, and Joseph took the kite, ripped it up, and mind you, Judith was crying the whole time. Like, she was so upset because Joseph's a butthole. In case you haven't figured that out yet. So, anyways, those are just a couple of incidents. And around... And she would constantly go to... So, Judith was getting severely abused. She was... She would go to friends' houses. 
she would have every excuse to stay at friends' houses. Like she, she like she's saying, I'm afraid to go home. My daddy is really sad, and I know he wants to kill my mommy. Oh, that poor girl. But, anyways, so, so this was all happening, and she ended up getting the role as Thea Brody in Jaws 4, which is also more commonly referred to as Jaws the Revenge. And filming was set to happen in the Bahamas. Well, before they left, Jude Joseph took Judith into a bedroom, held a knife against her throat, and said to her, If you don't come back, I'm going to kill you. That's basically what he said. So, so Judith obviously freaks out and she goes to filming and she acts like, she just acts like nothing happened. Like they film everything. She looks so great, so pretty. So cute. But. I'm sorry y'all. This is hard. So. So they filmed the movie. Everything's alright. So after filming. Judith. And Maria go visit Judith's. Not Judith's, but Maria's brother. And while they're there, they get a call from Joseph, who talks to Maria, who talks to Judith, and reminds her of, Do you remember what I said when left? So obviously, this freaks Judith out again. She starts crying. So. They end up cutting their trip short and going home. Yeah. Now, personally, if someone held a knife to my, my throat uh, and they told me to never cut. If I wasn't coming back, I would have said bye Felicia and left. But the thing is, Judith, and, like Maria, was so scared of Joseph that she felt that she had to like listen to him because she was so scared of stuff happening, which <laughs> big. Which, by the way, big mistake. So, in... So, there was this one incident... I know I'm jumping all over the place. But there's this one incident where... Maria actually filed a police report. And I think it was around 1986. Where Maria filed a police report stating that Joseph had beat her, choked her, stuff like that. But there was no evidence, and Maria eventually declined to prosecute, or press charges, I should say. So, after for a while, he was good, then after, or better... Or pretending to be anyway. Then, after that was all under the bus, Joseph started his abusive behavior again. He would con, like I said, he would constantly threaten to kill Judith and Maria, or and himself. 
and yeah so finally and also finally in 1987 she was chosen for the role as ducky in the land before time film franchise which is my like probably my one of my favorite film franchises when I was a kid and still is to this day and there's a freaking bee completely unrelated to the story there was just a bee or a wasp flying around and it's making me a little nervous but anyways we're, Ducky is known for her, ch her for her yep 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 catchphrase which she says throughout the movie and it was actually Judith's favorite role out of everything she did Ducky was her favorite and I can honestly see why my name's Ducky that's what it is yep 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 yeah, like, how cute is that? But, this is where things took a really dark turn. Oh, by the way, she also voiced that Anne-Marie in the movie, The Little Girl Anne-Marie and All Dogs Go to Heaven. Which, I never knew that. I didn't, I never knew that Ducky and Anne the girl from Little Dogs, from All Dogs Go to Heaven, were the same was the same girl. Not that I really cared back then. And so, and both so the both the land before time. And All Dogs Go to Heaven were released after her death in 1988. We'll get to that in a minute. So, all of this movies, TV shows, commercials just keep pouring in. Like, she was in Punky Brewster, Cheers, um... And a fam a family again, and of course, many many others. Jo so Joseph was getting increasingly abusive to around nineteen eighty six to nineteen eighty eight. Now on. So, one day when she was auditioning for the earlier mentioned All Dogs Go to Heaven, she starts breaking down in tears. Like, she's just sitting there, she's crying, and this is when her agent decides to call CPS, which, why nobody has done that yet? Actually, her agent referred her to a child psychologist who listened to Judith's story and decided it would be best to call Child Protective Services. And I'm like, personally, I'm like, uh, finally. And like, here's the thing. Here's how I look at it. A child is having a pot thrown, is being abused every day. Call, call CPS, not wait until it gets f messed up, and then finally decide to do something about it, but whatever. So, but they couldn't really find anything. I'm like, at least that's what they said. But honestly, I'm like, how the frick do you not find anything? 
The poor girls probably got bruises everywhere. And they're like, oh, we didn't see that. And Maria decided, did say that she was planning on getting a divorce from Joseph and moving away. That she was going to move into an apartment she had to an like a apartment she had rented but because maria was so scared of joseph she took she was scared to move out so she kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and ultimately that would lead to a terrible ending for Judith and Maria. <sighs> but, so she's planning, so she says she was going to, Maria, she said that she was going to divorce Joseph. So, The Child Protective Services ended up dropping the case. Again, big mistake. Well, apparently Joseph was trying to, had figured out that Maria was planning to leave him. So... So on, and unfortunately, they never got a chance to escape or leave because on July 25th, 1988, Judith was last seen riding her bicycle in the early, in the morning that night. This is where it gets super, super sad and dark and makes me want to punch a dead person in the face. Um, don't punch people in the face. That's a, don't do it. That's wrong. But I really want to, to this guy. Even though he died 36, 35 years ago, I still... Just want to, but anyways, at that night, uh, the night of July 25th, 1988, Joseph walked into Judith's room as she was sleeping and shot her in the head, killing her instantly. Um, so, of course, Maria hears the gunshot. And runs out of the room to check on her daughter. And there, Joseph shoots. And there, Joseph shoots Maria and kills her, too. And. He ended up staying in the house for two days after the murders. And I'm like... He, and he actually ended up getting a call from Judith's agent. Who said she missed an audition. And Joseph was like, well... I'm, there was this car that came to pick him up, and th then he's like, I'm leaving, I just wanted to tell my little one goodbye. And so he hung up, so they hung up, and after the phone call, he grabs some, like, gasoline, pours it all over the body, lights 
them on fire and shoots himself in the head, ending his own life. Now, Judith's neighbor, Eunice Daly, actually heard the gunshot. So he's like, oh, sh And he's like, and she's like, oh, no, he's done it. He said he's done what he said he's going to do. He sh he's m killed them and left their... He's on fire. So, of course, duh, she calls 911. And she... And the police and the fire departments, the paramedics, they find three bodies just there like in the house we have joseph in the garage maria in the hallway and sweet judith in her bed all dead and severely severely burned so anyways judith and maria were buried in unmarked graves but it is and it is unknown where joseph's remains are hopefully they were just thor Hopefully nowhere near his family, because that doesn't need to happen. No, that shouldn't have happened. But, it's getting kind of warm. But, about 16 years later, fans decided it would to donate to get a proper headstone. For Judith and Maria. Judith reads. Our concrete angel. Yep, yep, yep. Her line as Ducky in the land before time. And Maria's reads. The wind beneath J.E.B.'s. Wings, Judith's initials, Judith Ava Barcy. So now, and a lot of people are like, even though Maria closed the case wanted them to close the case they really shouldn't because technically it was judith's case and i can't agree more but so anyways that is the sad true tragic story of of judith ava bars <sighs> but anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed, please make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below which video you want to see next. Make sure you turn on notifications because I put out a video almost every day. And I... think you should blah subscribe